Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa, and today I am going to show you how to make six staple salad dressings, all of which are healthy, vegan, and so delicious. So a lot of these are my very kind of basic everyday salad dressings. They go well with everything. And I felt like as we're moving into the warmer weather here, I live in New York City, so it's starting to get warmer. It's starting to feel like spring. And I personally am craving a lot more salads. So I thought that I would give you six simple dressings that you can make at home. Like I said, they are healthy, they are nutritious, they are so much better for you than the stuff that you can buy at the supermarket. And I promise that they are super simple and they use very basic ingredients. So like with all of my other videos, the full recipes are up on my blog today. I have a whole post dedicated to salad dressings. I've also indicated what types of salads or what recipes I like to serve with each dressing. So you'll get a ton of information in that blog post. The link for you is in the description box. You can just tap that link. It will take you on over to my blog and you can get everything you need to know about these amazing salad dressings. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe if you have not joined our community yet here on YouTube. There's a red button right below this video. It says subscribe. That will make sure that you never miss another video. I'm here twice a week, so there is a ton more content coming your way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into our salad dressing recipes. We're starting with the everyday tahini, which is miso, tahini, lemon, apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, pepper, and some water. We will start by adding the tahini into a Pyrex or glass jar. Add in your miso, your vinegar, your pepper, your garlic powder, squeeze in the juice of that lemon, and then stir it all together, and you'll notice that it starts to get pretty thick. From here, we're gonna add in our water, and the water is going to help thin it out. So just stir in some water. I use about a quarter of a cup, sometimes a little bit more, depending on the thickness of the tahini. And you're looking for a creamy consistency that is still kind of thick, but drizzable like this. Then just pour it into your jar and store it in a sealed container in your fridge for one to two weeks. Our next dressing is a creamy balsamic. It's balsamic vinegar, some maple syrup, some lemon, some tahini, some mustard, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and some water. And again, we're going to mix everything in a Pyrex or a glass bowl. Pour in your balsamic vinegar, add in your tahini, and you'll notice that both of these two first dressings are oil-free, so hopefully that's helpful for a lot of you. Then you can just add in the remainder of the ingredients. So we have our Dijon mustard, as well as our maple syrup. And this just adds a little bit of sweetness, optional. Our garlic powder, our salt and pepper, and then squeeze in those lemons. And again, depending on the consistency of your tahini, you might need to add a tiny bit of water. I actually didn't here, so I don't add any water, but if you find that it's too thick, you can stir in a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon or so, to get it to be the right consistency. Once it's all whisked together, again, just transfer it into a sealed container and you're good to go. The third dressing is our spicy lemon olive oil. We're gonna be using olive oil, lemon, red pepper flakes, white wine vinegar, and salt and pepper. And we're actually gonna mix this all in a mason jar so that it's easy to stir together. So you're gonna add in your olive oil as well as your white wine vinegar, followed up with your lemon juice. We're gonna do the juice of a whole lemon. And then your pepper flakes, and again, you can adjust based on your tolerance for spice and the salt and pepper, and then screw on the lid and then just give this a little bit of a shake. And you're just gonna shake it until it's all emulsified. And then you can pour it into a sealed container or you can just keep it in the mason jar. I just did this for presentation purposes, but this is definitely one of our favorites. Next up is our vegan Caesar. We're gonna be using garlic, capers, raw cashews, salt and pepper, lemon, mustard, and nutritional yeast. And we're gonna add everything into our blender. So the cashews have been soaked for at least a couple hours and you can do this in hot water. That will speed up the soaking process. And then you're just gonna follow up with the rest of the ingredients. So we have the garlic, the capers, the nutritional yeast, the mustard, the salt and the pepper and the juice of half of a lemon. And then we'll just top this with about a third cup of water and we'll blend it up until it's smooth and creamy. Depending on the consistency that you're looking for, you might need to add a tiny bit more water. 
And I have found that as this sits in the fridge, it actually thickens up, so you do need to end up adding more water. But you can just transfer it into your stored glass container, keep it in the fridge for a couple weeks, and enjoy. Our fifth dressing is a vegan green goddess. We're using some fresh herbs, some coconut yogurt, some lemon, some vinegar, some garlic, some onion powder, and lots of goodies. And we are going to be making this again in our blender, so we'll start by adding the coconut yogurt. You could also use another non-dairy yogurt if you can't find coconut yogurt, followed by the apple cider vinegar, a little bit of maple syrup, some fresh garlic, onion powder, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and then our herbs are gonna be fresh tarragon and fresh parsley. And we're gonna add just a splash of water. You might not need to do this if you have a runny yogurt. And then just blend this all together until it's smooth and creamy. And this is such a gorgeous dressing. Depending on the coconut yogurt that you have, it might thicken in the fridge, but this is amazing and it's so bright and perfect for spring. Our final recipe is a creamy almond butter dressing that uses almond butter, soy sauce, lime juice, sriracha, ginger, and rice vinegar. And we are going to just add everything into a Pyrex or glass bowl again, so scoop in your almond butter. Follow that up with your ginger, your rice vinegar, your wheat-free tamari, the juice of one whole lime, as well as your sriracha sauce. And then you can just whisk this all together. And again, like that tahini dressing, it is going to thicken up quite a bit, so we're gonna need to use some water to thin it out. I tend to use about a quarter cup of water and I do that in two batches. So just continue to add water about a tablespoon at a time until you get the right consistency. This is a thicker dressing, but it's also really creamy and smooth and it is so yummy. You guys are gonna love it. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you try these dressings because I promise you they are so delicious. And as you can see, they are really simple to make. These are something that you can make ahead. You can keep them in your fridge. I often have multiple different types of dressings in my fridge at once. They will last you at least two to three weeks in the fridge and I promise you will fall in love with them. So if you end up trying one of them, I would love for you to tell me which one you are most excited to try or which one you like the best in the comment box below. I will put a comment below that you can just respond to and you can share what your favorite is. And of course, like I mentioned at the beginning, the full instructions, ingredient lists, and recipes are up on the blog today, so you can get that by tapping the link that is in the description box below. And if you guys enjoyed this type of recipe video or if you would like more recipes like this, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And like I mentioned in the beginning, if you have not yet joined our community here on YouTube, I would love to welcome you into the Simply Quinoa family. I am here twice a week and I am sharing healthy recipes, lifestyle, what I eat in a day videos, and so much more. So there is a ton of content to look forward to and I would love for you to join us. So tap that red button that is right below this video. It says subscribe and that will automatically subscribe you. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you on Friday in our next brand new video. Bye guys! Thank you.